Hello, good afternoon. It is the uh, last part ng ating uh, discussion about uh, algebra sa ating integration course in mathematics. And uh, we are now in number 24 uh, where we left off uh, number 23 yung ating uh, naiwan. So itutuloy natin siya and then the uh, Remaining problems, kaya ako hinulit to kasi they are uh, special problems kung saan they are tackling uh, the, uh, what you call this, uh, progressions. And then progressions, yan. yung progression kasi uh, mahalaga yan sa ating uh, algebra. And they are They are the last ones to be uh, discussed during our algebra days. And uh, merong apat na uri ng progressions. And I'll uh, tell you the uh, progressions about arithmetic progression, geometric progression, uh, infinite geometric progression or sequence, and then the last part is the harmonic progression. Ngayon, Uh, what are progressions? Yan yung a certain number <clears throat> is uh, decreasing or increasing in such a way na it is uh, having a common difference and a common ratio. Whereas, they can be determined only by subtracting or dividing the consecutive terms for the latter or uh, the subsequent terms, okay? And uh, for your infinite geometric sequence, that is a sequence kung saan never ending yung iyong sequence. But the sequence does have a common ratio. Now, yung harmonic progression mo, uh, it is the, uh, when you get the reciprocal of your Uh, arithmetic progression, she will arrive with harmonic progression. Uh, I will uh, elaborate it later. Okay? So, let us focus first dito sa ating arithmetic progression. Now, uh, when we're talking about arithmetic progression, uh, what determines a, an, or a, uh, an arithmetic progression? The Determining factor for your uh, for your uh, arithmetic progression is the common difference. Okay? Ibig sabihin, the uh, consecutive terms does have the same difference. Okay? Pare, nagsimula ka sa first number, you ended up with the second number, and then meron ang third number, and so on. The difference between two consecutive terms are equal. Yun yung ibig sabihin ng ating common difference. Okay? Yun yun. Now, your arithmetic progression has a formula na an equal to a1 plus uh, parenthesis open, open parenthesis <coughs> N1, dapat ito, hindi plus 1. This is minus 1. Kasi difference yan, minus 1. N minus 1 <clears throat> times D. Okay? Uh, what is AN? <clears throat> AN is the nth term. Or somehow, we can depict that as the last term of your arithmetic progression. Mare, the last term is the ninth term The 10th term, that is the nth term. Okay? And A1 is the first term of your sequence. It can be any number. Okay? It is, it can be any number na kung saan magsisimula yung iyong arithmetic progression. And N is the number of terms in your progression. Kung mara, meron kang 9th term, ibig sabihin, pwedeng yun yung last term mo, or pwede rin namang kasama yon dun sa number of terms na meron ka. Okay? Sinahanap lang siya from dun sa span na yon Okay? 
Again, D is the common difference. Now, for the general formula, yan yun o, AN is equal to, or the last term, or the any term na inahanap dun sa iyong uh, progression, is equal to the AM. What is AM? It is any starting point or starting number in your sequence. Plus, the difference between the term na ina, number of terms, total number of terms na meron ka dun sa iyong sequence, multiplied by uh, minus, sorry, minus M, which is the starting term, pang ilan siya. But does, that does not meet, mean na yun mismo yung starting point mo. And D is the common difference. Okay? Now, for the sum of all terms, syempre, kung mara, from 1 to 100, i-add mo yan, nag-device yung isang matalinong tao. May kwento yan eh, kung bakit siya na-derive. Sabi niya, yung professor niya, isang matalinong professor, sinabi niya sa estudyante niya, yung estudyante niya medyo tamad. Sabi niya, uh, Mr. Paking, Burito kong estudyante yun, si Paking. Mr. Paking, natutulog ka na naman. Sige nga, yung 1 to 100, i-add mo nga. Diba? Siyempre, si Paking, sabi niya, nakuloko to si Sarah. Kaya kong i-add yung 1 to 100 na yun. At alamin ko, yung total nila. Paano? Kukunin ko lang naman. Yung first term, nung 1 to 100, and then the last term ng 1 to 100. At i-multiply ko yan sa number of terms na meron ako. Siyempre, 1 to 100, di meron ko 100 na terms. O, oh, di nakakuha ko kagad yung sum of all terms. Kaya nakapag-divide si Mr. Ganito, si Mr. Paking, ng formula na the sum of all terms for an arithmetic sequence is equal to n over 2 multiplied by the sum of the first term and the last term of your sequence. Pero, may limitation yan. The limitation of this term is paano kung pupunta ka pa rin dito sa last term mo. Paano kung binigay na yung last term mo? Pwede na kagad. Pero kung sosolve mo pa rin yung last term mo, might as well be, gamitin mo na lang to. Okay? Ibig sabihin, yung last term mo, pinalitan natin ng since an going back, an is, you know, an is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 times d. Pinalitan na lang yan ng simple, dinoble lang niya yung a1. And then, nag-derive siya ng another equation. So kahit hindi given si last term, direkta mong compute si sum of all terms only if alam mo kung ilan yung number of terms, the total number of terms, and then A1 is given. Okay na yun. But, alam nyo, mas mabilis siyang matandaan kapag may mnemonics ka. Okay? Ang arithmetic progression mo, ang mnemonic niyan, binabasa as lanid. 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 Para madali mo tandaan. The last term, the first term, the total number of terms, and then the common difference. Okay? Now, uh, we solve for number 24. So I'll read it aloud, ah, the number 24. Yeah. Sabi dito, in a pile of logs, each layer contains one more log than the layer above. The top contains one log. Ba, parang ibig sabihin, para siyang papiramid. Okay? If there are 105 logs in the pile, ibig sabihin, binigyan ka ng total number of logs. How many layers are there? Okay, sasolve natin siya analytically. Okay, meron ka daw ditong 105 na logs. Ibig sabihin, meron kang total number of logs. Ibig sabihin, that is S N equal to 105. Okay. Tapos, sabi dito, each layer contains one more log than the layer above. 
ibig sabihin, pagbaba niya, idodrawing ko ha, kung ito yung first mo, first, syempre sa second, mas marami yun ang two, ibig sabihin, yung third, dadagdagan na naman ng one, hanggang sa umabot ka ng total na one o five. Pero hindi natin alam yung number of terms. Itong wala tayo, yung n. Yan, wala tayo dyan. Okay? Ang tinatanong, layer. Ito yung layer mo eh. Layer. Kung ilang patong meron ka. Okay? So, paano ko siya sasol? Okay? Meron tayong 105. So, ibig sabihin, this is 2, this is 3, and so on. Okay? Meron akong first term. Binigay niya na yung first term as 1. A, 1. Is equal to 1. So, ibig sabihin, meron akong given na total, we can use, again, going back, we can use this formula. Ayan o, yung nasa taas. Ah, ito pala. Ito ang gagamitin natin ngayon kasi hindi na natin nahanapin yung last term. Okay? Hindi na natin kailangan hanapin yung last term. Pero, pwede rin natin hanapin yung last term. Idadagdag ko doon sa ating problem. Okay, let's first find the number of layers. Tapos, hanapin natin yung AN. Bonus lang, dagdag natin. Hanapin natin yung last term niya, AN. Okay? Now, SN, isulat ko dito yung formula. SN is equal to N over 2 multiplied by 2 A1 plus N minus 1 times the common difference. Now, the common difference is, hanapin natin, D. Eh, yung second term mo is 2 minus 1. So, meron kang 1 na common difference. Meron akong 105. Yan. Hindi ko alam yung N over 2. Tapos, meron akong twice ni A1 which is 1 plus N minus 1 multiplied by 1. Yan. I-simplify natin. I-multiply natin lahat ng side by 2. Bale, 210 equal to uh, uh, this will be N uh, multiplied by 2 plus N minus Mumultiply ko na ito, magkakaroon ako ng 1 bali equal to ng N 1 plus N. Ayan. And then, meron akong 210 equal to N squared. Distribute natin to dito. Plus N. Ayan. Pwede natin isimplify yan using by quadratic equation. Quadratic equation. Pwede rin naman na, turo ko sa inyo, meron kayo sa calcu na mode try nyo dito, mode 5-3. Mode 5-3. 3, para hindi na kayo mahihirapan. Ayan o. Oh. Ito yung lalabas sa calculator nyo. Ayan. Kapag mode 5, 3. Meron kang A, B, C. Isulat natin to as ganun. So, N squared plus N minus 210 equal to 0. Ibig sabihin, dito, pagdating sa calculator mo, meron kang A, B, and C. Ito yung A, ito yung B, ito yung C. Okay. Input na lang natin siya dito sa calculator. N, ang coefficient 
coefficient to pangalawa is 1 again. And then the last coefficient is 210. Okay. Mag-arrive tayo ng 14. Yung unang sagot natin is 14. N is equal to 14. Yung isa, equal pa natin. Ang lalabas dyan ay 15, negative 15. N is equal to negative 15. Ibig sabihin, this is absurd, so ang answer mo is 14. So again, para magkaroon ka ng, uh, using yung ating quadratic equation, all you have to do is press mode 5-3. Okay, again, mode 5-3, lalabas yung A, B, C. Kaya lang, sa mode 5, tignan nyo, tatlo yung equation dyan. Yan, tignan nyo sila. Meron ang 1, yan is uh, linear equation. Number 2, linear equation with 3 variables. Meron kang 3 quadratic equation. So, mode 5, 3 dapat. Okay, nasolve na natin yung number of layers which is 4. Pwede pa nating isolve yung last term kung gano'ng karami yung pile under nun. Ngayon, may tuturo ako na isa pang formula. Okay? Set aside natin to. Pukunin natin yung Meron na tayong number of layers, 14. Okay? 14 yung number of layers ko. Pwede nating gamitin yung ating uh, calcule ulit para malaman natin yun. Pero gamitin muna natin yung LANID. La NID. Now, yung last term natin, mahanap natin yan, gamit yung A1, which is, sabi nga doon, the first uh, layer, meron yung na, isang pile ng lag, plus N, 14, minus 1, times 1. So, 1 plus 13 is 14 din. So, meron ang 14 sa last layer mo. Ngayon, meron tayong shortcut dyan. Wait, there's more. Ito yung shortcut para makuha sa arithmetic progression. Shortcut. 4. Arithmetic progression. AP. Oh, turo ko na yung shortcut para hindi kayo mahirapan. May shortcut dyan. Ang shortcut dyan, Calcutec. Okay? Try nyo yung mode 3. Yan. Tignutin mo dito. Tignutin mo yun dyan. Mode 3, 2. May may kita kayo na X and Y. Yan. X and Y. Sa X, ilalagay mo yung uh, mga number of terms. Kung mare, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sa Y, ilalagay mo yung corresponding. Okay? And since dito, lalabas yan. Kung mare, ito yun. No? Lalabas dyan. X, Y. Nangihingi si x ng value, nangihingi si y ng value. I-input mo kay x yung first term mo. Okay? First term. Tapos, meron kang last term na 14. Lalaman mo yun dyan. Ngayon, dito, uh, 1, 14 eh, hindi pa natin alam to. Ano ang dapat mo ilagay dito? Ganito dapat yan. The correct way para masolve mo yan, x, y. Ilalagay mo dito si 1, syempre given na rin sa second term, ilalagay mo si 1, ilalagay mo si 2. Okay? Input natin dito. Okay? Patunayan natin na ang magiging answer na 14. Ilalagay ko dito 1, 2. Dito naman si 1, 2. Okay? Tapos press AC. Press AC. Okay? And then press Shift 1, Tapos 5, yung reg, regression, 5. And then itong mukhang saranggola, 5. Ilalagay mo before dun sa mukhang saranggola, yung inahanap mo na term. Pang ilan yon 14. So nakuha mo yung answer, which is 14. Correct. Ibig sabihin, tama ito, na last term mo ay 14. Okay? Yun yung shortcut sa kanya. Again, mode 3, 2. I-input mo, this is, uh, this is wrong. Ito, mali ito. 
Yan, hindi yan yung tamang technique. Ang tama dyan, ilalagay mo yung magkasunod na term or any term na given sa kanya. Meron time na ibinibigay is third term. So, first term, third term, or first term in this case, dun sa problem, 1 and 2. Sa 1 and 2, ilalagay mo yung corresponding number doon in the progression. And then, press. Ito, yung button na to. AC. After press AC, may kita nyo yung shift. 1, 5, and 5. May kita nyo yung lalabas dyan na mukhang saranggola. Nakaganito. Yan. Before that, ilagay nyo yung value nung N tapos Y hat. Makukuha nyo yung value. Yun yung shortcut natin para sa arithmetic progression. Okay? So, number, ano na tayo? Number 25. Okay. Ito na, harmonic progression. Papakita ko muna sa inyo. Pagkakasabi ko, ang harmonic progression, kukunin mo muna yung reciprocal nung given na progression, which is arithmetic. Now, ang gagawin mo doon, after mo siyang kunin ng ano, uh, babalik tarin mo, kumari, uh, ang binigay niya is 3, 6, 9, 12, Kukunin mo yung reciprocal nung 3, 6, 9, 12. Gagawin mong 1 third, 1 6, 1 9, 1 12. Ganun yun. Tapos ipapasok mo sa arith arithmetic progression. Pagkapasok mo ng arithmetic progression, makukuha mo yung last term nun. Now the last term will be the last term of your harmonic progression. Ngayon, ibabalik mo siya doon sa kanyang uh, arithmetic sequence. Okay, kunin mo uli yung kanyang uh, no, kunin mo yung kanya uli yung uh, reciprocal value. Now, uh, punta kayo number 25. Number 25, sabi dyan, the third term of a harmonic progression is 15. And the, and the ninth term is 6. Find the 11th term. Now, ang hirap niyan. Ilista muna natin. Ang sabi dyan, uh, the third term of the harmonic progression. So, the third term, ang binigay dyan, A3, equal to 15. Ngayon, pag gagawin mo siyang harmonic progression, H3, okay? E since H3 siya, gagawin mo 1 over 15. Okay. Tapos, meron kang in the ninth term, a9 is 6. Ngayon, pag ginawa mo siyang harmonic progression, H9 equal to 1 over 6. Yan yung sinasabi ko. Babalik na rin muna. Now, hindi naman given dyan yung, ano, hindi given yung common difference and the and and term, 11th daw. Pero, hindi tayo dapat babase dyan. Kasi hindi natin alam, di ba? Magbilang ka. Gawin natin tong H1. Gawin natin tong from 3. Bilang ka. From 3. Kung gagawin natin 1 yun. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ibig sabihin pang 7 term. So, this is 7th term. <clears throat> okay? Therefore, meron tayong n equal to 7. <clears throat> Again, ginawa ko tong h1 para mas hindi nakakalito. Okay? Ginawa ko siyang h1. Yung a3, binaligtad ko kung yung reciprocal, naging harmonic na yan. Tapos ginawa ko siyang h1 kasi mas nakakalito to kapag h3. Tapos itong h9, gagawin ko siyang, hindi natin alam, pero magmumula tayo sa H3 as 1. So, bilang tayo, 1, H3, H4, H5, H6, H7, H8, H9. Ibig sabihin, 7 terms. 
So, meron kang n equal to 7. Ano na lang wala ka? Yung common difference. Yan. Ahanapin natin yung 11 term. Ang hinahanap is the 11 term. Okay? So, proceed tayo dito sa computation natin ng lanid. A1 plus N minus 1 times D. Ibig sabihin, the last term of the progression ko para makuha ko lang tong D is 1 over 6. Equal to yung A1 mo or H1 is 1 over 15. Plus N which is 7 term minus 1 times D. Ngayon, makukuha natin yung D. Okay? Simplify muna natin to. Okay, simplify ko siya. Ayan. 1 over 6 equal to 1 over 15 plus 6D. Okay, simplify ko na. Okay. Pagsamayin ko itong dalawa, so 6D equal to 1 over 15 minus uh, pala, plus 1 over 6. Ito yung minus. Yan. And then, multiply ko sila. Oh, divide ko na lang both sides by 1 6. 1 6. Multiply ko both sides by 1 6. Para Okay? Now, solve natin yung D. Yan. Mode 1. Uh -huh. So, 1 over, 1 over 6. Hello. Yan. Ibanag na ulit. Balik tayo dito. Mayiging uh, wait ako sa kakal. 1 over 6 minus 1 over 15 times 1 over 6. Kung lalabas is 1 over oh, ito sa kalpi, 1 over 60. D is 1 over 60. Yan. Nasolve na siya. Yung D. <coughs> so, ang gagawin natin ahanapin natin yung uh, harmonic progression, yung 11 term. So, meron tayong A9. Hindi natin alam yun. A9, so D, 60. Hmm. So, solve natin yung the 9th term or the 11th term. Bakit naging 9th term? Kasi tignan nyo H9, ha? The 9th uh, term siya. Bakit H11 ang inahanap? Tandaan nyo, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Ibig sabihin, the ninth term. May bago ko ng term. So, that is N is equal to 9. Tapos, ang inahanap mo is A9. Kasi inilipat nga natin to to H1. Okay? Remember that. Now, yung A9 mo, equal yan sa A1 which is 1 over 15 plus yung n na 9 minus 1 times 1 over 60. Okay, simplify ko na lang to. A9 is equal to, by calc u, yan. Pindutin ko ha. 1 over 15 plus 9 minus 1 times 1 over over 60. So, 1 over 5. Now, yung reciprocal niya para i-change natin sa harmonic progression, H9 or 11, since dito naman nagmula yan, H11 ang inahanap, this is 5. Ganun lang ang pag-solve ng iyong harmonic progression. Okay? Uh, so, move on tayo. 
sa number, eto na, number 26. Ano ba yung number 26? Yun. Focus muna tayo dito. Number 26 This is a sample of a geometric sequence or progression. Ngayon, ano ba yung geometric progression? Anong pinagkaiba niyan sa har uh, harmonic and then uh, harmonic and arithmetic progression? Now, sa geometric sequence kasi, meron kang common ratio. Yung common ratio is defined as the What? It is defined as the ratio between the two consecutive terms. Tignan nyo, A2 divided by A1. Equal yan dun sa susunod na terms, si A3, A2. Okay? Now, yun yun. <clears throat> yan yung pinagkaiba niya. Common ratio pag geometric progression, common difference naman pagdating ng harmonic and then arithmetic progression. Okay? Now, it is denoted by the formula AN or the last term of your progression equal to the first term times the common ratio raised to N minus 1, which N is the number of terms present in your progression. Okay? Now, meron naman tayong general formula na AN is equal to AM times R raised to N minus M, where M is any, any, any given sequence dun sa iyong progression. Ibig sabihin, any term. Kung ka magmumula. Kung nagsimula ka ng 3, doon magsimula. Okay? Now, for the sum of all terms, meron ang uh, iba't ibang cases dyan. A sum of all, ter all terms ng iyong progression, it is given by the formula A multiplied by R raised to N Minus 1 divided by R1. Only if yung R mo is greater than 1. And if less than 1 yung R mo, ayan o, if less than 1 yung R mo, pabalik ta rin mo lang yung Rn. Okay? Sabi nila, kung si arithmetic progression is lanin, ito naman si geometric progression si Larni. Si Larni, pangalan ng babae. Si Lanid at si Larni. Okay. Ganyan yung pag uh, mnemonic sa kanya. Okay. Now, uh, we'll get back with the calculation. Nung ating number 26. So, number 26. The numbers 28. Sabi dito, 28. x plus 2 and 112 form a GP geometric sequence or progression. What is the 10th term? Nako, hinahanap si 10th term. A, 10th. Eh, hindi natin alam mo. Kita mo, meron ditong uh, class, meron dyang bakante. Pero, pwede nating makuha using to, yung common ratio. Di ba ang common ratio is A2 over A1? equal to A3 over A2. Pwede natin makuha kagad dito yung value ni X. Okay? Para makuha natin yung value nito. Itong buong to. Okay? Now, ganito yan. A2 is X plus 2 over 28. This is the first term eh. This is the second term. This is the third term. Ayan, din yung ko. Equal to A3, which is 112, over X plus 2. We cross-multiply. Pag cross-multiply natin, anong lalabas? That is X plus 2 squared equal to 112 times 28. Now, check natin kung pwede ba nating i-square root yung dalawa. Okay? Square root na natin ng dalawa kung pwede. Yan. Square root ko na rin yan. Para may makuha na akong value dito. So, this will be dito. X plus 
equal to yung square root ng dalawa. Square root ng 112 times 28. Aba, meron, 56. But that, that doesn't mean na 56 itong number na to. Okay? You'll find x muna. Pero pwede na yun. Since x over 2, x plus 2 na is 56. Therefore, therefore, second term is 56. Yan. Solve mo na yung second term. Ang inahanap is the 10th term. Okay. Ano yung common ratio nila? Hanapin natin. A2 over A1 is equal to 56 over 28 equal to R. Okay. Yung R mo is equal to what? 56 over 28, that is 2. Meron ka ng R. Okay? Ahanapin mo na si Larny. 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 11 to eh. Larny. A1, R raised to N minus 1. Eh, Larny. Larny. Hinahanap natin yung last term, which is 11 term. L11 equal to A1 is 28. May common ratio is 2. Raise 2, number of terms, siyempre 11 yan. Minus 1, equal to, tignan natin yung sagot. 28 times 2, raise to 11 minus 1. 28,600, tignan natin yung answer. The answer will be 28,672. Yan ang answer natin. 28,672. I-check nga natin kung tama yan. Paano? Wait, there's more. Hindi natin kailangan na ipasok sa LAR nilang ang ating equation. Ang pinakamabilis na paraan, mga bata. Kapag geometric progression, syempre, hindi naman pahuhuli yan. Meron tayong, meron tayong shortcut. Ha? Yung shortcut natin dyan is given by this. Now, for shortcut. For shortcut. Yan. Yung inihintay ng lahat. Shortcut. Pwede nyo lang itong gamitin only if. Only if mag-check kayo ng answer. I want your solutions be like this. Hindi pwedeng gamitin yung shortcut. The shortcut will be used only to check if your answer is correct. Okay? Ganun dapat. Ba't naging 10? R is 10. R, 10 minus 1. Ano ba yung nahanap? Ah, 10th term. 10th term, hindi pala 11th term. Gawin natin itong 10th term. 10th term. Nagkamali ako ng basa. Na 10th term, dapat to 10 minus 1. 10 minus 1. So, the answer will be 14,336. Nagkamali ako ng tingin. Wala akong salamin. Yan. Pagpatunayan natin to kung tama ba yung, yung answer niya using our shortcut. Now, mode 3, 6. Mode 3, 6 na lang tayo. Pwede rin naman sa mode 3, 5. Since that is exponential naman. Dito, pwede na rin to. Exponential iteration rin naman to. Mode 3, 5. Anong lalabas dyan? Pindutin nga muna natin yung mode 3, 5 nyo. Mode 3. Tapos tignan nyo, mode 3, 5. Pwede rin namang mode 3, 6. Try natin mode 3, 6. Tandaan nyo, meron siya naka-raise ng x. Ito naka-raise din ng x. Pwede any of the two. Okay? Mode 3, 6 na lang tayo para mas komportable. Ngayon, ang lalabas dyan is x and y ulit. Nangihingi ulit yan. Now, anong ilalagay mo sa x? Ang ilalagay mo sa x, yung mga terms na meron ka. And so, uh, yung katapat na value nung iyong uh, corresponding uh, term. Okay? Oh, sorry. Hindi close ako. Yan. Hindi close ko yung aking tab. Yan. Yan, number 26. Minimize ko muna. Now, may kita mo dito, yan yun. 
hingi siya ng x, hingi siya ng y. Ngayon, ano yung present dito? Pwede natin gamitin yung first term tsaka yung third term. Okay? Oh, input ko dito, the first term and the third term. Okay? Ano ba yung first term? That is 28, nasa taas, yan, no, 28, and then the third term is 112. 28, 112. Yan. Input ko dito, 1, pakita ko sa inyo para rin. Yan. 1 and 3. Tapos dito, uh, 28, 1, 1, 2. Hey, mahanap na natin yung 10th term. Kahit di na tayo dumaan dito sa pagkahaba-haba na ito, may kita natin yung answer. Okay? Press AC. Yan. Press AC after nun. Press AC. Yan. Pagkatapos press AC, again, katulad nung una, shift, yan, 1, tignan nyo yung 5, regression, hanapin nyo uli yung hugis sa ranggola, 5, shift 1, 5, 5, ilagay nyo dito yung term na kailangan nyo, which is 10th term, before nung kahit. Laging dun yung ilalagay yung numero bago kayo magpalipad ng sa ranggola para makuha yung sagot. And the answer is 14, 336. Correct yung answer natin. Press AC. Shift. 1, 5, and 5. Ito yung shortcut natin for geometric progression. Yan. GP. O, may natutunan naman kayong bago sa akin ngayon. Ha? O. So, pwede nyo itong i-view again. And again, I, I will upload it as soon as matapos ito. Uh, ilalagay ko doon sa inyong uh, module. Okay? For part 3, it will be uploaded. Okay? Number 27. In 27, uh, we will talk about infinite geometric progression. Now, when talking about infinite geometric progression, ayan, yung infinite geometric progression, ibig sabihin, it is a progression na kung saan walang katapusan. Okay? Huwag nyo muna i-focus to. Takpan natin siya. Yung infinite geometric progression mo, ibig sabihin, yung progression mo, never ending matatapos yan, papalaki na papalaki na papalaki, or papaliit na papaliit na papaliit. Okay? But, hindi pwedeng maging zero ang iyong denominator dyan. Kaya, meron ka ditong conditions na yung ratio mo or the common ratio will never be equal to 1 but it can be less than 1 or greater than 1. Kasi pag naging 0 yan, that is undefined. Okay? Now, ito yung ating infinite geometric sequence or progression sum sum of all the infinite geometric progression, a1 divided by 1 minus r, where your r must not be less than 1. And then the otherwise, yung kabila naman, ganun din. On the other hand. So, solve natin yung number 27. Sa number 27, sabi dito, find the sum of the infinite geometric progression, 6, negative 2, and 2 over 3. Ngayon, meron kong first term, second term, meron kong third term. Hanapin mo yung common ratio nila. Okay? Para malaman mo kung ano yung gagamitin mo. Okay? The uh, common ratio between negative over 6. May sabihin, 2, 3, uh, bali, 1 third, negative 1 over 3. Ang ating R. Okay? So, this is uh, lower than 1. Therefore, ang gagamitin natin is infinite is equal to a1 over uh, less than r. Less than 1 siya. Okay? 1 minus r. Ito yung gagamitin natin. Equal to a1 which is 6 over 1 minus negative to 1 over 3 equal to 
mode 1. So, apa ito ko dito sa calculation? 6 over 1 minus, hindi, plus na siya. 1 over 2. The answer will be 9 over 2. 9 over 2. Or 4.5. That is the answer. So, madali lang naman yan. Again, yung harmonic progression na, gagawin niyo muna siyang arithmetic, tapos gagawin mo siyang reciprocal. Pag na-reciprocal mo, kunin mo yung last term, and then pag nakuha mo na yung last term, i-reciprocal mo ulit. That is the harmonic value. Okay? Proceed tayo sa number 28. 28. In the equation, ah, uh, Sabi dito, iba na tong problem, product of the roots, okay? Tandaan, kapag product of the roots, x1 times x2 equal yan sa c over a, okay? Pag naman, sum of the roots, x1 plus x2 negative equal yan sa Negative B over A. Diba, meron kang sa quadratic equation, AX squared plus BX plus C equal to zero. Diyan yung binase. Okay? Now, dito, sabi dito, in the equation, yan, so, in the equation, 3X squared plus 4X plus 2h minus 5 equal to 0. Find h. Hinanap dyan, h. If the product of the roots, ito yun, product of the roots is x1 times x2 equal daw yan sa c over a equal daw sa 4. Yan. Solution x1, x2. Ang hirap, hindi ko ayon sagutin. Look lang. 4. Uh, the product of the roots. Tignan niyo yung formula. This is A, B, and this is C. Ayan. A, B, C. Eh, C over A, di ba? C over A. C over A. So, x1 times x2 equal to C over A. Yung C mo kasi is 2H minus 5 over A, the coefficient of A, equal to 4. Now, cross-multiply natin, 2H minus 5 equal to 12. Now, ilipat natin to dito, 2H, kita pa ba? Yan. 2H equal to 12 plus 5. H will be, pag dinivide natin both sides or multiply by one half, one half, H will be 17 over 2. That is your answer. Ganun lang kadali yun. Wala ka na ibang iisip yan. Okay? Now, proceed to number 29. Number 29. The denominator of a certain fraction is 3 more than twice the numerator. Condition 1. It is, it is a word problem, ha? Itong mga type of problem na to dapat magaling ka rin umintin ng English. Siyempre, comprehensive ka muna. Mataas ang comprehension mo bago ka mag-comment. Think before you click, dapat yunon. Kaya yung iba, nangyayari, hindi natin malaman. Follow na ng follow, comment na ng comment. Hindi mo na nagbabasa. Pero dito, kailangan natin, pag math problems, kailangan basahin, intindihin bago sagutan. Ngayon, hindi yung masasagutan yan kung hindi yung maintindihan. Lahat ng bagay na hindi yung maintindihan, tandaan mo, hindi mo makukuha. Okay? Ganun yun, ang buhay. Diba? Hindi yung maintindihan, hanggang uli hindi mo makukuha. 
Merong mga bagay talaga hindi ka maintindihan. Kahit anong pilit mo. Pero ito, dapat maintindihan mo kasi kasama yan sa board exam. So, ito number 29, the last number. The denominator of a certain fraction is 3. Denominator. So, malagay tayo dito numerator, denominator. Ito yung fraction natin. Yan, fraction. Numerator, denominator. The denominator, the denominator is 3 more than twice the numerator. Twice the numerator. So, pwede nating x yung numerator. Okay? 3 more than twice the numerator. 2x plus 3. Yun. Now, if 7 is added on both terms, ibig sabihin, x plus 7, dinagdagan ko dito, plus 7. Yun. The resulting fraction is 3 fifth. Find the original fraction. 3 fifth. Now, the original fraction is FO, original, x over 2x plus 3. Ito yung hahanapin natin. Ngayon, pwede natin makuha yun using this. So, pwede ko na i-simplify ito, okay? x plus 7 all over 2x, 3, 2x plus 10. 2x plus 10. Now, cross-multiply, mag-arrive ako dito. Yan. Uh, 3 times 2x plus 10 equal to 5x plus 7. I-distribute ko na. Distribute ko na. Distribute ko na. 6x plus 30 equal to 5x plus 35. Yan. Now, so, 6x minus 5x equal to 35 minus 30. Obvious naman na x will be equal to 5. Now, the fraction will be, if x is 5, lipat ko na lang dito, 5 over 2 times 5 plus 3. The original fraction will be 5 over 13. Diba basic? Now, uh, this will be the end of our discussion. Ngayon, I will upload this uh, within this day and then you can check it uh, bukas. Then after that, kasabay nitong i-upload ko is the note for, for algebra. All the answers will be included and then merong practice sets. Yung practice sets nandito, additional problems to. Those practice sets are given nung ako nagbo-board exam. Those were mock board exam questions and some of them are board exam questions, actual board exam. I hope you can find the time to answer those problems. Okay? Those were guide problems. So, you shall uh, pass this subject. Magbibigay ako ng 10 items bukas for your practice. Okay? So, don't forget to like and subscribe dun sa aking mga video sa YouTube. Follow me, your prof rides. Okay? I will upload a uh, tutorial. Meron din ako mga ride. Food food, uh, ride vlogs with food, tapos meron mga uh, tips kung, kung ano nung bagay and then you can send questions, I can feature it para masagot ko sa inyo to shout out para sa mga pangalan na magsisend sa akin. Just follow and then watch my videos kapag nandun na. Okay? Thank you for listening and then tune, tune in dun sa ating Canvas page. Thank you. Good night. Hey. Okay.